Hello YouTube friends. I've just poured my porridge out. It's a bit hot yet, so I'll just leave it over there to cool down. <laughs> it's Saturday the 5th of January and I'm going to have a whole day of working on what's on the table here. Because unusually there's nothing on the design board behind me. And that's because two projects, are one project is finished and one project I'm working on. This project, I'm about to go to the post office with this. It's, I've just spent ages packing it all up and I'm with this great tape. Do you remember I showed you the tape from Rob Ryan the other day? Well, I got another one. This uh, flying through the air people. So if you ever buy anything from me from the shop, then uh, it'll be this tape or one of the other ones from Rob Ryan. And so I've just spent the longest time packing, packaging this up really carefully. And I'm just going to go off to the post office with it now. And then this one is the second commission that uh, uh, both people have said I can choose the colours and the design. So isn't that lovely? So I have and I'm having a lovely time with all my favourite colours. So, yeah, I'll be stitching away on this one today uh, to try and get this one uh, finished soon. I'm but first of all, I just want to say I wonder if you like the new titles. Um, when I first started doing this um, vlogging uh, malarkey, I uh, went to iMovie and found the templates that they give you for making the trailers or the, the introductions. And there were, uh, you know, 20 or so to choose from. And that one that I chose was the one I liked. But I've got pretty bored with it, actually, over, the, over time. And so I've made this morning, uh, I've made uh, very simply, again on iMovie, I love iMovie, uh, a little introduction and... Um, What's the end called? Outroduction. I just made up a new word. An outro, an intro and an outro for the for the blatherings that I do here on this channel. So I'm going to eat my porridge now. Uh, this is one of the bowls I made and I'm trying, I'm experimenting with this new shape. I like the shape very much. So this is cool enough to eat now. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm, go I'm going to go to the post office with this and then put some good movies on and get on with this um, project here. So for now, I'm off to the post office. I'll see you later. Well, it's uh, three days later now. And so rather than make one short video and one long video, I thought I'd cobble them together and make one very long video. <laughs> <laughs> so um, here I am making the soup tonight. Hello YouTube friends. I'm going to do some cooking. I am um, going to make some soup for myself tonight. It's um, Tuesday the 8th of January and um, I bought myself this book for Christmas. Ross Br Bridgeford is somebody that I've been uh, following for a couple of years now. Uh, I watch his um, videos and I'm on his Facebook group and so on and he talks um, a lot of good sense about health and diet and so on and so I sometimes I pay more attention to it and sometimes I don't and January the beginning of 2019 I just had an idea that maybe it would be a good idea to get back to eating super healthy so this is called the anti-inflammatory soup uh, and apart from anything his recipes are absolutely delicious so i'm going to make this in this pan here and i've collected together quite a lot of the ingredients i need um, because i'm wearing my lapel mic and i don't want to have to walk backwards and forwards too far okay then so um i'll put uh what would i do put a link I'll maybe write the recipe out in the description below, maybe. And I'll put a link to Ross uh, in the description below as well. Uh, and we're just going to do some chopping and chatting and make some soup. We need to chop a lot of ingredients. 
<laughs> one of the things we need is, uh, he says, um, four carrots. Now these are my carrots out of the garden. And so one of those uh, is like a quarter of a carrot, isn't it? So I'm just going to chop some of these up then. I've just given them a good old scrub uh, because there's a huge amount of dirt on them. Oh, and obviously, as I've said before, if you work with your own um, vegetables in the garden, you've got to accept that there's going to be a lot of this kind of thing, just little bits of blemishes and so on. And that's where really it just, you have to take the time to, to deal with those. Sometimes you take so much off, it might not be worth using the piece at all, but no, we're gonna be fine. So we're going to chop everything with my super sharp knife. I'm being very careful, don't worry. After my brush with the electrics, I don't do anything that will alarm you lot. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put everything in here then. So as it's chopped, it's all just collecting in there. So I was amazed, I went out just now uh, to get the carrots. I'm absolutely amazed that there still are carrots growing there. But there are, and they're lovely. So I'm going to get on then and I'm going to chop this. I'll tell you what the ingredients are while I'm chopping it. Carrots and then ginger and then turmeric root, uh, coconut oil, red onion. Now it says one red onion, but I'm getting to the tail end of the onions now. So they're quite small. So I might put two of those in. And then it says eight ounces of pumpkin, but what I've got is some butternut squash that's left over. That will do fine. Uh, one sweet potato, three garlic cloves are here. Um, mustard seeds, stock granules, and then some lentils. Um, my lentils are here. So what I might do when I use them is I might just fill that jar up with the leftovers. The lentils are there. And then some coconut, which is in here. And then it says, um, it says fresh cilantro, which is um, coriander. I don't like coriander. So there won't be any coriander in this. I like parsley, but I haven't got any of that growing. There's a thing, a genetic thing about coriander or cilantro, whatever you call it. And it's actually, there's a gene for liking or not liking cilantro. Isn't that funny? And I must have the gene for not liking it. It tastes soapy and I really, really dislike the taste. And so I think the world can be split into people who like coriander and people who don't. It's easy enough to avoid. Okay then guys, so I'm just gonna chop vegetables for a while with my super sharp knife. It's a beautiful sunny day today. It actually feels more like April out there than January. But this is, um, it's a false feeling because we're definitely gonna get snow at some point. So I'm not gonna get too excited about the, about the garden and start making loads of plans for planting. Winter has not yet arrived here at the last homely house. Okay. So I'm going to give you a top tip about, you know how I've just had my knife sharpened. And to keep that blade really nice and sharp there's loads of things you can do and one of them is this i'll show you so 
The usual temptation would be now would be to scoot that along the board with the sharp end of the knife. And so the better way is to turn the knife over and scoot it with the back of the knife. And that just keeps that blade that bit brighter for a little tiny bit longer. There was a tip I learned from um, someone years ago and I've always done it. Okay, I think that's a probably about four carrots. So that's the carrots then. Okay, let me just look at the recipe, the, the, the method. Uh, peel the carrots, ginger and turmeric. Let's do that now. Oh, I've got a knife out already. So yeah, today's been a lovely, lovely, lovely sunny day. Yesterday was the day from hell. And I'll tell you about it. I went down to visit my dad. That was the nice part. But I got uh, caught up in a, a traffic jam that was due to a really, really bad road accident. And so, you know, you've got to think whatever was happening to me was nothing like as bad as what was happening to the people involved in the accident. However, it did not mean that the delay um, added another three hours to the journey, which is already a long journey. So um, I'm telling you this because over on my Patreon page, and there'll be a link to that in the description box below, I've decided that it's a really, really nice format for blogging. Now, years and years ago, I had a blog and I used to keep it every day. I used to really enjoy, um, you know, blogging about various things. And, and then a whole heap of stuff happened and I stopped blogging. Now I've started doing this YouTube, which I love. I found that I sort of blog in the description box below the videos. I don't know if you've noticed that, if you ever read the description box. Sometimes I go on and on about all sorts. So what I've decided to do is do that sort of content over on Patreon, which is, you can all look at it. It's not like it's a, it's restricted access or anything like that to just patrons. Um, one tablespoon of coconut, oil, one red onion. We're actually going to do two red onions. Uh, so I'll do that now. So I put a wee blog post up just now. I'm going to call them blog posts up on the Patreon page. So I've just done that. And I really enjoyed just, a, you know, just sharing that little bit about my day yesterday. So you can pop over and have a look if you like. It's going to be another little thing that I really, really enjoy doing. These are my onions. It's really nice. I remember stringing these up um, way back in the summer, at the end of the summer stringing these onions up and they're still sitting there now hanging in the um, in the woodshed <laughs> oh, they're gorgeous so we need some garlic and this is my garlic how much garlic do we need Ross garlic three three cloves of garlic one two three now I haven't planted any garlic this year it just didn't happen so I'm afraid there's going to be no garlic in the garden this year which is a shame because I don't use a huge amount of garlic but it is lovely to have Oh, doing this reminds me of when I made the master tonic. Can you see it? Can you see that blue towel over there? That's the tea towel that's got the master tonic in. It's probably just about ready now. The horseradish came and I chopped it up 
and added it to the mix amazing and it's probably just about ready to drink now okay so let's just have a tidy up here one tablespoon of coconut oil that's about a tablespoon I think there we go let's pop that in there and then I'm going to sweat off the onions and the garlic in that oil mix that round okay then so now I need to just cut this um, this is uh, not pumpkin I don't have pumpkin but I have this butternut squash which I've eaten I've eaten some of already so I'm just going to cut the little cut end off so that it's now this stuff I find this stuff so hard to cut oh, it's really tough so this has started to sizzle now that's good We'll just let that sweat off for about five minutes or so and the the squash has been uh, peeled it's a horrible job I'm just gonna cut this into chunks and add them to the this pot here and then I'll do the sweet potato. Okay, I think that's all the vegetables now. Mustard seed. How much mustard seed do we need? One teaspoon of mustard seed coming up. So now we're going to tip the rest of the vegetables in and coat them with all of that lovely oil. Lentils now. And this stuff is the um, vegetarian stock granules that I use. It's like a stock cube but in powder form very tasty sometimes I put a spoonful of that into a cup of hot water it's delicious for a drink okay and then after all this has been coated in the oil we're going to add a tin of tomatoes oh god I wish I could smell this it smells amazing there's some suggestions for what you might put on the top of this soup. I'll read them to you. Half a cup of cashews, two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds, coconut oil to taste and a garlic clove minced. So let me see what you do with that. To make the topping, smash up the cashews under a knife, cook with the pumpkin seeds and a little coconut oil with the minced garlic until it's warm through and slightly brown. Shall we do that? Shall we? Let's do it. Let's get another pan. And we've got cashew nuts are over there. So we've got some cashew nuts then. We'll just clear this off again. Sounds delicious. And we need coconut oil again. He's a big fan of coconut oil, is old Ross. Okay, so we'll just put the heat on here. Put a little bit of coconut oil in, not that much, that's too much, that much. Half a cup of cashews, which I'm just going to do by eye. That'll do. And some pumpkin seeds. 
two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds. I'm guessing it's all right to put them in there. And then we'll chop these up a bit and cut a, another garlic. Okay. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, so I'll just keep an eye on that one there. Now this one then has got all those gorgeous vegetables coated in the oils. Wow. Liking the look of this. And now we'll do these tomatoes. It just says four tomatoes. So actually, I think that's all I'm gonna put in. Yeah, because I don't want this to be overly tomato-y. This stuff in here. is coconut cream so I'm just going to put in what looks about a cup of that I'm just going to pour enough water in to cover the vegetables and I can always check to see if it needs more once those lentils soak up all that water so that's everything I've been through the recipe so I know it's correct I'll put the, the recipe in the bottom for you if you want to try it. But I'm just going to say a little bit about this book. For years now, I've been juicing and I've been eating healthily and so on. And every now and then I get myself, you know, onto a little bit of a program where it makes uh, better sense to do this more, more carefully. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I'll go back to drinking coffee if I want to and and eating how I want to. That's pretty much how I live my life. <laughs> but when I am doing this, it's actually a really good idea to follow it quite carefully. And this was Ross's new book that was out um, just a few days ago, as I say, just in time for the new year. And it's got some very, very interesting uh, sections in it. Uh, it's worth a read anyway. Soon I'm going to do some more recipes from this book and I'm going to make this one with you. It's called Easy Bliss Balls. They are very good for a snack. But for now, we're going to just leave the anti-inflammatory soup cooking here on the stove. Uh, the topping is going to be, just have a few more minutes so that that garlic cooks through and that will be nice sprinkled on the top. And I'll bring you back when it's all done.